Hi, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It is so nice to see you all here today. Welcome to the Life Lessons Wellness Program. My name is Lauren, and I am one of the hosts today. I'm also here with some other hosts. We have Stevie. Stevie, can you say hi to everybody? I am here. And we have Carly. Good morning, Stevie. everyone. Now your microphone's on. Yes. Yeah. How are you, Stevie? Good. Good. It's so nice to see you. It's cool. Now we have Carly. How are you doing, Carly? Good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. And we also have Canwar Paul. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hello, everyone. How are you doing, Canwar Paul? Good. You? I am doing great. I'm so excited to be here on this happy Tuesday. Everyone, what do we do on Tuesdays? Meditation. Meditation. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to do some exercise. We're going to do some meditation. We're going to do some chat with us. I see we have some Leaf fans today. Go Leaf go. I hope that you're all wearing your jerseys. You're excited to support your hockey team if yeah. that is who you're cheering for. So good luck to them. Now today, for our exercise, we are actually going to a pool. But are we going to a real pool, Carly? No, we're just pretending. <laughs> exactly. We are all going to go to our own pretend pools in our homes, in our classrooms. Maybe you're outside today on this beautiful day. And we are going to get to some swimming. So before we do that, we're going to start off our Tuesdays like always with our warm up. So first things first, let's make sure that we are safe in our surroundings. So let's make big arms. Make sure that we're not hitting anything. Maybe kick our legs out. Make sure that there's nothing that we're gonna hit our toes on when we go swimming in our huge pool. And then we also want to make sure that we're wearing comfy clothes and that maybe we have some water with us in case we get thirsty, okay? Really important to stay hydrated, and I think I covered everything. Did I, Canmore Paul? Yeah. Yes. Yes, awesome. So, mm -hmm. Stevie, do you think we should begin with the warm up? Yeah. I agree. So, everybody, let's make our feet a little more than hip distance apart if you're choosing to exercise standing up we're going to touch the sky and hinge forward and touch the floor you're going to do that 10 times if you're sitting in the chair we're going to make sure we're sitting up nice and tall our feet out about hip distance apart touch the sky and hinge breathe in as you touch the sky Breathe out as you hinge forward. And if you are going to exercise from on the floor today or maybe in a bed, then you can come down. You're going to touch, whoops, I'm a little close to my couch. You're going to touch the sky and come up and try to touch your heels. So breathe in, reach behind you, breathe out. Touch your heels. So this is gonna be really great to wake up your core as well. Carly, do you wanna help us count? How many more do we have left? Maybe five? Five. One. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Carly. And next, we're going to warm up our legs a little bit more. So if you're standing, we're going to march on the spot. So let's get to marching. Let's move our arms. Awesome. Keep moving and get our blood flowing. Sitting down, we're going to keep up marching. Move our legs. Once that feels comfy, maybe you want to move your arms as well. 
And if you are on the ground, if you're lying down, then you're going to march your legs up one at a time. Great. So we're going to do this for about 20 more seconds. Stevie, can you count to 10 for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Keep to marching. If you are on the floor, we're going to switch and switch our arms back and forth, okay? If you're standing or sitting, keep marching. Stevie, can we do 10 more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Okay, next we're going to do big arms. So if you're lying down, we're going to open our arms big and clap it forward. Open and clap. Open. open. We're going to warm up our arms. Perfect. It's looking great. Big arms and clap together. Big and clap. Awesome. Carly, do you want to count to 10? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Now, everybody, reach up with one arm and lean over. And switch up and over. Yes. And one more time up and up. over. Lean. And again up and over. Okay, are we ready to hop in that pool? Okay, so you can choose any kind of jump you want to. Maybe you want to dive in. Maybe you want to cannonball. Up to you, okay? Right. Is everyone in the water? Yes, are you in the water, Tanner Paul? Camera for you. Perfect. Okay. Yes, first. yes. Yes? Awesome. I saw I you. I might go jump in the water. Pardon? I'm gonna jump in the water. You jumped, how did you jump in? Like, uh, I go in the pool. <laughs> yeah, you just jumped in. What about you, Carly? Did you do a special yeah. kind of jump or you just jumped right in? I go, I jump on by stairs. <laughs> you jumped from what? I jump on by stairs. From stairs? Did you go on the diving board? Yes. Wonderful. You, Carly? I just, uh, I pretend you go in the pool. Perfect. And Stevie, are you in the pool? Yes. Perfect. Okay, we're going to start off by making sure that the water is nice and safe. So big arms like this, everyone. So breach forward and back. Forward and back. We're going to keep our core nice and tight. And we're going to use our arm muscles and our back muscles. Perfect. If you're sitting, you can do the same movement. Straight back, tight core, squeeze your back and keep your arms nice and activated. And if you are on the ground or lying down, you can actually flip onto your stomach and we're going to reach forward and back. Forward and back. Perfect. We're going to do this for 10 more seconds. Stevie, can you count to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. So now we're going to actually do some French crawl. So everybody, do you, have you done a front crawl before? Big arms forwards like this. Perfect. So big arms one at a time. 
great job. I'm so excited that everyone is working together. I hope that we're using very encouraging words and we're all being nice and kind, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to encourage each other. We're all working together. We're exercising. Mm. It's hard, but we are doing it. So let's try to use nice words with each other. Carly, what's an example of an encouraging word you can use when you're exercising with someone? Use it. It means use kind words. Use nice words, not bad, mean words or something. Exactly. We want to use nice, kind words. Maybe say something like, good job or keep it up. Stevie, if you were going to encourage someone, what would you say? I would say keep doing it and exercise more. Keep doing it. Yeah, let's exercise more. Maybe we want to exercise together. What about you, Tanmar Paul? What would you say to someone who's exercising and maybe it's hard for them? Mm, I would say uh, keep it up, good work. Keep it up, good work. That's awesome. Okay, so I know everyone's mm -hmm. arms are getting a little bit tired from our front stroke. So now we're going to go backwards. So big arms backwards, one at a time, okay? Yeah. Fingertips together, huge yeah. arms backwards. Keep it up. Yeah. Great job. If you actually want to be lying all the way down, you can go on your back and similar to before, one arm at a time. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can even push up on your heels to get to that bridge position and then try to move your arms. Awesome job, everyone. So this one, if you're lying down, it's really good because it's working your glutes, your core and your arms. Standing or sitting, then you're getting a lot of cardio in. So now we're gonna do for 10 more seconds as fast as we can. Can we pause and you count to 10? Okay. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Ah, great job, everyone. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a breather. Is everyone feeling a little tired after that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. You're feeling normal? Okay, no, yes, that means you have to... You're joking? Yeah. Okay, then I will still give you a break, camera, Paul. I was about to say it's time for you to do 10 more jumping jacks. <laughs> But I think that would be a fun idea to do in the pool. What do you think? Should we get some jumping jacks in? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Because yes. swimming, Carly, I know that you have a pool at home. Is swimming good for cardio and muscles? Yeah, it's good for do more exercise. Yeah. Yeah, it must feel so good on your body. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to jumping jacks. If you're standing up. We're going to keep doing jumping jacks like this, okay? So we're going to do it for a little bit longer than usual, so I want you to keep your pace. If you get tired and you need a break, maybe you want to just do little bunny hops. Or maybe you want to just move your arms, okay? But if you can, let's try to keep it up with the jumping jacks. One. Awesome. Sitting down, we're gonna be moving our arms up and down like this. And if we are on the floor, we're going to do toe taps, okay? So we're going to do one leg up and down. Up and down. So 10 times. Can I Paul, can you count to 10 for me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. I know you're getting tired with those jumping jacks, but you can keep doing it. We're gonna do for 10 more seconds. Carly, can you count to 10? 
Beautiful. Everybody take that break. You deserve it. That was a little tricky, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to our swimming. So let's get the front stroke going. Perfect. Move your arms forward. And this time, we're actually going to hinge forward and look down at the floor. Hey, Lauren, do, do, do you go on deep on water sometimes? Do I go where? You go on deep on water? On deep? Deep water? Oh, like, do I swim in deep waters? Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know, I took swimming lessons when I was younger. So I do know how to swim in mm. deeper waters but if i'm ever at the beach i always make sure i'm with other people yeah that's true even in a pool do you guys have mm. any other pool safety tricks other than being with other people be careful and don't hurt yourself or exactly carly it's good to be aware of our surroundings don't hurt ourselves yeah be careful Sorry, um, just... yeah don't mm -hmm. hurt your body in water <laughs> Exactly. We don't want to hurt our body underwater. Make My sure we boy. know where we're going. Maybe we can look at the floor, walk very slowly if we're walking in the water. Okay, now we're going to do the backstroke. If you're on the floor, we're going to switch it around. So before we were pushing forwards and then pulling the water backwards, pushing forwards and pulling the water backwards. Now we're going to push the water forwards and pull your arms back. So big circle up, pull back. Big circle up, pull back. If you are standing or sitting, we're going to do back, big arms going backwards. Awesome. So we're coming to the end of our workout. So for the last 10 seconds, we're going to do arm circles as fast as we can, okay? Let's get to the end of the pool. Stevie, can you count to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Oh, wow, that was awesome, everybody. So I'm sure you're feeling very warm. You just had a great swimming class and now it is time to cool down. So back where we started, if you're standing up, reach the sky, hinge forward. And this time we're gonna hold it here, okay? Sitting in the chair, same thing. Touch the sky and hold your toes. If it's a little too tricky to touch the floor or your toes, Feel free to stop at your knees, maybe your shins, and really work on keeping a straight back, okay? On the floor, perhaps you want to sit up, touch the sty, and hinge. Again, you can touch your knees, touch your shins, maybe reach over and touch your toes. Great job, everyone. Next, we're going to stretch on our arms. We worked a lot on our arms today. So one hand forward and pull it across your chest. Okay. Like this. Good job. Um, and next arm, reach it forward and pull it across your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Early, and we'll do another 10. Reach up to the sky and hinge over for 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And next arm up and reach over. Perfect. Now we're going to do three big shoulder rolls back. One, two, two, three, and forwards. One, two, 
three. And now we're gonna take three deep breaths. So everyone, I want you to try to fill your tummy with air. Breathe in through your nose, okay? You can close your eyes, breathe in. And let it all out. Again, breathe in. And let it all out. And then one more, breathe in, reach up to the sky and breathe out. Hands to your heart, give yourself a round of applause. And I think that that was a great workout. We all deserve a little bit of a break, maybe some water. And should we all meet you back here in a few minutes? In a few minutes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay, let's take a little break. I agree. We'll see you guys soon. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hello. How was your break, Carly? Yeah, I just wanted to walk around and just Good. Wow, you did even more exercise after all of that? <laughs> wow, good for you. What about you, Tanmar? Paul, what did you do on your break? Just walking on the floor. and Walking, walking. around? Yeah, and walking uh, let's go outside. Nothing very nice and bright and sunny today. It's good, right? It's going to be, going to be a higher plus 11 today. Really? Is that scooter weather? <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. I'm excited for you. Tai Bo? I used to do it with my mom. I used to do Tai Bo. I did some exercises today with my mom. Oh, you did exercises? Yeah. Wow, that must have been so much fun. Yeah. I went to I I, I went on Tai Lo, but it was a little bit chilly. I, I wear my jacket and I, I, I did a, a norm, normal speed scooter. Oh, normal speed. That's good. You're being careful? Yeah. Awesome. No. Stevie, how are you doing? How was your break? Yeah. Good. Yes? Did you get any yeah. hydration? Did you go for a walk? Did you just relax? I drank water. Awesome. You feel nice and hydrated? Yeah. How was that workout? Was it tiring? Yeah. Uh, or it was okay? You could handle it? It was okay. Yeah. I know you're a runner. You're probably used to doing so much cardio. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everybody. So we are going to jump right into our chats for the day. And the first thing I think that we're gonna th talk about is respect. So who's heard that word before? I heard this word before. What does it mean to you, Carly? What do you think about? It means that you need to respect other people and don't. Yeah, we're gonna be nice to other people. We're gonna use kind words. What do you think, Stevie? What does respect mean to you? Have you heard that word before? It means you have to listen to the other person. It means we can listen to other people. Look at other people when they're talking to you. Looking at other people when they're talking. If you have any other thoughts, anybody watching, feel free to throw it in the chat. What do you think, Tanwar? Paul, what do you think about that word respect? Oh, wait. Um, be nice to uh, older people and uh, be nice to friends uh, and other people. Yeah. Around. We're going to be nice to yeah. older people, be nice to younger yeah. people, be nice to friends. I see yeah. sharing, sharing like in basketball. That's a great one. Yeah. You respect each other when we're playing sports together. What about when we're chatting yeah. with other people, when we're in a group like this, like life lessons? Do we be nice to each other? Yes, we can. We can. Yeah, yes. Be kind to other people. Yes. I see Haley saying be kind. I agree. We want to be kind. And what are some ways that we can show kindness? Do we use really mean words? No, mm -hmm. if we use mean words, you get you'll get in trouble if you mean say mean words, and you want the teacher will not won't like that. Yeah, maybe the other person won't feel very happy if we're using words that are not too kind. So here at Life Lessons, we want to promote being kind to others, being respectful, maybe being positive. We've talked about positivity before. Stevie, do you have any thoughts about this? Why should we be kind to others? So we don't hurt other another person's feelings. Yeah. Exactly. I heard about feelings too. I heard of, I did this before too. About feelings, how to be nice to people. And yeah, Carly, to... that's great. And do you try to do that in your life too? Yeah. Uh, um, 
yeah, if we do something like if we do something kind, we get we get pom poms if we do something nice for our friends. Yes, I remember you saying that. So we want to share pom poms with other people. We want to share kindness. That that then you get free time if you get pom poms. Yeah, which is something that you enjoy, right? Yeah. So when you're kind to other people, then maybe you'll get all that positive energy back to you. I like that a lot. What about you, Tanra Paul? Do you have any other thoughts about what it means to be kind and respectful? Um, mm, talk to people nicely. And don't be too things to other people. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So everybody, this is just a little reminder too that when we're here, when we're all together, we really want to work on using nice, positive words to lift people up. Okay. Mm. So what if you don't agree with something though? What if I say something you don't agree with me? Then is it okay for you to be mean to me? No. 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 Really? What if you really don't agree with me? Still no? No. Mm -mm. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> Thank you everyone. So maybe if you don't agree to agree with me, <laughs> what's one way you could handle it? Could you tell me that nicely? Yeah, uh, using uh, nice words. You can use words. kind words. Maybe if you only have negative words to say, we can keep it to ourselves too. Okay, so I'm really happy that we had this discussion because I know it can be a little tricky sometimes, but it's a good reminder once in a while, you know? Because we all want to create a really safe environment. I had so much fun coming here and chatting with you all twice a week. And I hope you all have fun too, do you? Yes. Mm, yes. We do. Yeah. So let's keep up that fun atmosphere. And I think this is a good time for us to do some positive affirmations. I think yeah. Ian has a hands up. You, Ian had, oh, thank you. Ian, how are oh. you doing? Ian. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hey. How's, that, how's that lady doing? And what's her name? Miss. Miss Digby. How is Miss Digby doing? I'm sure you can ask her yourself and she will throw it in the chat. I believe I saw her name here. Where Did is you? that woman? I've not seen her in a while. <laughs> I know. It's been a whole... Did you see her on Thursday or no? No. 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 Then it must have been a while. You're right. The chicken dance before everyone leaves today. Oh, yes. The chicken dance. We did it last time too, right? Can you guys can have it? It was a lot of fun. I think maybe someone will try to find the chicken dance on. I see some heads shaking yes. And we'll do it Mr. later, Ian. okay, Ian? Does that yeah, sound look, good? Miss Digby, type on chat. Oh, what did she say? Can you read it to me? I can't read. Oh, she said, hi, Ian. I'm doing great. Thank you for coming for to our wellness program. Who said that? Miss Digby. Digby. I don't see her name. So, Miss Digby, she just wrote in the chat. She, Adrian is the last one in the chat, and then Miss Digby is the one on top of that. I can see her. Oh, that's okay. She told you that she's doing great, and she thanks you for coming to the wellness program. Yes. <laughs> she's it's okay, her face isn't there right now. Yeah, she's in school. So we're actually going to go ahead. Ian, do you want to start us off with our self-affirmations? Do you remember what that is? No. So self-affirmations no. is when we say something positive about ourselves. So, um, Stevie, do you want to give an example? I uh, listen to other people. Exactly. So then we would say, I listen to other people, and then everyone can repeat. So I listen to other people. I listen to other people. I listen to other people. Awesome. <laughs> Tamar Paul, do you have one? Uh... Listen, I like to listen to the birds outside. I like to listen to the birds outside. In the chat, I see I am happy. I am happy. I am happy. Room 277, I'm sporty. Okay, I am sporty. sporty. What about you? Um, I see Isaac, I see I am a good friend. I am a good friend. I am strong. I am strong. There's I am worth it. I am worth it. I am strong. I am strong. 
Isaac, do you have a self affirmation for us? Yeah, yes, 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 I do. I am, am healed. I am healed. Mm -hmm. I am healed. Thank you, Isaac. Um? I see I am healthy and stronger. I am healthy and stronger. I am enough. I am. I am enough. Finally, we believe happy. <laughs> yeah, and I see let's go Toronto Maple Leafs. So it seems like we're sending lots of positive love to the Leafs today too. And I yes. think that this should be a great time for us to do meditation. What do you think, Stevie? Yes. Yeah. Okay, what should we do first? We close our eyes and then... Okay, so I see we're going to close our eyes first. Okay, take a deep breath in through your nose and let it out. Put yourself in a comfortable position. Maybe have your hands on your lap. Relax your shoulders. Listen to the music. Relax your neck muscles and your arms. Relax your eyes and your nose, your lips and your jaw. Relax your ears and your forehead. Okay, everybody. You can slowly open your eyes, and I think it is time for us to do some chat with us. Hi, Aiden. How are you doing? Awesome. I see you have your Leafs jersey on. Yeah. Yeah. I worked That's amazing. Tuesday. I was not here on Tuesday. I was working. Oh, okay. Where do you work? Canadian Tire. Uh, it's... Is it in Brampton? No, Mississauga. Mississauga. Very nice. Uh, Don Dundas, I think. Oh, okay. Do you like working? Yeah. <laughs> you can smell That's two good. coffee plants every time. You two. get what? You can smell coffee coming from the two plants. Oh, you get coffee. No, you can smell it because they're grinding the oh. coffees there. Oh, okay. Do you like drinking coffee too or just the smell of it? No, drinking it too. Drinking it too. Tell I Mrs. know, they wake you up in the morning. Yeah. Tell her Mrs. David for me and, he, and say hi to Mr. Curry for us if she sees him. Okay, I'll definitely let her know that Ian and Adrian say hi, Mrs. Digby, and they also say hi to Mr. Corey. And go Leafs on Thursday. And yeah, we can't forget, go Leafs on Thursday. Lauren, they scored last time five goals, Maple Leaf. Five goals? They five. scored five goals or they got five goals scored on that? Five goals. I scored. In. Right? Yeah, okay. So the Maple Leafs got five goals. That is very exciting. They got Tampa five. Bay is way too fast. Tampa yeah. Bay. Yeah. Oh. Tampa is going to lose this game on Thursday against the Leafs. Oh, yeah? They're playing here, Toronto. Oh, that's very exciting. Thanks so much for sharing, Adrian. It was nice chatting with you. Stevie, do you want to see how Sierra is doing? How are you doing, Sierra? Hi, Sierra. I'm good. You're, you're good? How was, mm -hmm. how was... How was your day today? Good. It was good? Yeah. J Julian, how are you? Great. It's good to see you guys. <laughs> I loved exercising. Good. We had so much fun exercising, too. What was your favorite part? What do you call that? Oh, yeah. Oh, you okay. You like touching your toes. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Not necessarily my toes. I, I'm spaced out and then I touch the ground. You're at the ground? You touch all the way down Why to the ground? Yeah. yeah. Good job. You must be very flexible. I, I, I try and count to 10 in Italian, Spanish, and French, and any languages I've heard. <laughs> That's or good. The, so you work on your the, fitness and your languages. Yeah, or even with a British or Australian accent. <laughs> what, what, why is that? I'm voice acting, though. I say, four, three, two, one. 
<laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. It must make the exercise go by fast. Well, I love that part. Very cool. Thanks so much, Julian. It was no, nice to see kind you. Of nice. Kind of nice. That was amazing, though. Thank you so much. We had a lot of fun. Will we see you on Thursday? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Now, Carly, I see we have Haley yeah. with us. Let's say hi to Haley. Yeah, Are you doing good you. today? Terrific. So you're saying I should worry. You know how this is going to turn in a bunch of movie club. Are you watching TV? Yeah. Will we see you on Thursday for cooking? I'm cooking on Thursday. Awesome. I heard that you really like potatoes. Is that true? Awesome. Me too. I think that we're going to, I may have heard that we're doing something with eggs on Thursday. Does mm. that excite you? Yes. I know. I love eggs. I could have eggs every day for every meal and I'd be very eggs happy. Eggs for omelet? Exactly. Like an omelet. Yeah. And I see 217, 219 is saying goodbye. See you Thursday. Thank you for joining us. Should we all say goodbye to 217, 213, or 219? Bye. Bye, Bye 217. Give a little wave. I see we have Kayla here. Hello, Kayla. Hi. Yeah, how's your day going? Good. Tired. Tired. Yeah, I could see that. Did you have a busy weekend? Yes, I do Zuma class. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah. How was it? Good. Yes, after Zoom, I, I do art class. Oh my goodness. So you did have a very busy day. <laughs> yeah, to, tonight I have basketball too. And now you have basketball. Wow, a busy week. Later. And you said you started soccer, right? This weekend I have a Today, today my last basketball practice for the, I was the, for one time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I know you like basketball. No big deal. I have more stuff to I have back. I have soccer in the, in the summer now and track and field. Soccer in the summer. That's very exciting. Okay, well, good luck with your basketball practice. Your last one. I hope you have lots of fun. Yeah. Okay. And lastly, I see that we have Ian raising his mm -hmm. hand. Cameron Paul, do you want to see how Ian's doing? Sure. How are you, Ian doing? Uh, Ian doing? How are you? Good. Hi. You guys Hello, are being so again. kind to us. How's Miss Digby doing? Miss <laughs> Digby, it seems like she's Call doing fabulous me. today. <laughs> Let me see her face. I want to see how to write to her face. Call her for me. I don't think Call that me. her face is there right now. I don't I see her I face see... either. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, no, I think her camera is off. Oh. Do you think that we should do a chicken dance again? Huh? Do you think we should do the chicken dance? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'd love to do it. Do you mind doing it with me? Where's the music, you guys? Do you have the music? Yeah. Awesome. And I believe, I know I see Isaac's hand up. Isaac, I will call on you for one last time. And then I believe that we are going to finish up the show. Okay. How are you doing? I am doing good. And you? I'm doing fabulous. It's a great day today. Mm -hmm. Anything exciting going on this week? It's, it's too, it's too cool on this week. Not, not really. Oh, yes, 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 I do. I have a lot of fun. Um, let's be coming soon. Uh, all said and, and done. Hope you not last, last just day. I'm camp and my, my oh. saddle. No, last, last day of going to either. Hopefully, it be May, May soon. May is coming. May. Oh, in May. Yeah, May is coming. May awesome. is coming soon. So, are you gonna start Warren. a new camp in May? Yes. Yeah. I, I said May is coming. Blossoms. You're seeing cherry blossoms? 
I went to go see it today. This morning. Wow. How was that? Interesting. Good. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen a cherry blossom in person. Are they beautiful? Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite flower? The white one. That sounds very cute. We actually have a lot of pink flowers today because we had a party on the weekend for my sister and her favorite color is pink. Oh, nice. Yes, thanks, Isaac. Do you have a pink favorite flower, party. Isaac? Pink party. Yes. I like um yellow like like was it uh, i see the no do you like was it everybody in the class do i mean the like like was it if my, my mother's day is coming i made you but your yes. your mother's favorite from mother's day you must just like like oh, yeah, mother's day. And like white pink and yellow too it's nice i like it Oh, music. That means it's done. Or try to go, no? <laughs> Lord, Bye. let's let's check. Bye. 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 Oh, I did, oh, wow. I think she muted.